We've succeeded in reviving the memories. The ninja world has been brought back to normal. <sighs> Thank goodness. What do you want to do now? That's... Nanashi Uchiha's memory. I didn't think there would be more. Hey! Could you just tell me what beginners should be doing? Who is this guy? Oh, it's just a kid. It's easy to handle them when you can see what they're thinking so clearly. I can just have kids like him read the manual or something. Come on, just tell me! You already know what's on this page 13. He's so demanding. Nanashi! He's talking to me again. Did you see what I just did? What is so fun about talking to me? Hey! He's here again today. I guess I can hang out with him a little. But don't you want to have some fun? What's that? Don't worry, it's not what you think. I just want to be friends. What is with him? You said that earlier, but I didn't think you were serious. I assumed you didn't want to do it. He's right. Why did I help him of my own accord? Hey, he finally called me by my name. He noticed. However, it doesn't feel too weird. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. F friends? Did he just call me his friend? Oh. That's nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. Sorry, Boruto. I just can't forgive Ninja. The more I think about it, the more this dark feeling bubbles up inside me. But I want to save Boruto. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. She wasn't a bad guy. Living through her harsh past, never being treated like a person. I'm sure Nanashi was very happy that you reached out to her. However, she was also a prisoner of her hatred. It seemed that she was deeply conflicted about it. Boruto, let me ask you again. What do you plan to do now? I'm gonna go talk to her again. Even if she might not want to listen. Even then, nothing can start if we don't talk. Besides, she'll understand, because she's not a bad guy. So you trust her? Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> Go then. Yeah! The child is strong. Oh, right! He gave me a communication device! This is Boruto. What's going on? 
Oh, Boruto, can you hear me? This is Sarada. I can hear you. I'm going to ask you point blank. Did you do it? You did, right? Yeah, I nailed it. Good. What about you? Did you find the hideout? Mitsuki, try the right side. Yeah, there. Sarda. Oh, sorry. We're in the middle of looking for the hideout. I think we'll find it soon. Sounds like you guys are on it. Yeah, the tracking ninja tool Katasuke Sensei invented really came in handy. Besides, the mission in the woods? That was the spot. When we used the ninja tool to scan the lingering traces of chakra, we were able to detect a number of suspicious ones. One of them was the chakra belonging to someone named Tegusei. When we followed it, we were able to narrow down the location. I see. Props to Mr. Katasuke. Puerto, what are you going to do now? I'll head over there too. We can't let Zero get away with this. I thought you'd say that. Okay, I'll tell you where we're looking. You know Mount Higakure, northwest of the Hidden Leaf Village? There's a crevice that stretches about 10 kilometers in the southern district. Sarada, watch out! <coughs> Sarada! Hey, Sarada! Damn it, what's going on? Boruto. They attacked us. We managed to hide. But Shikadai and the others were taken away. Damn. However, thanks to that, we know where their hideout is. I've left markings every 50 meters. The 30th is the last one. Just head straight from there and you'll find their hideout. Got it. I'll do the rest. You guys get back to the village. You're going in alone? That's too dangerous. I know. <sighs> There's no stopping you, is there? Mitsuki, take care of Sarada. Okay. Once I get Sarada to Hidden Leaf, I'll come with some backup as soon as I can. Okay. Boruto... What about Nanashi? I was able to learn a little more about her. What she's done, what she's been thinking. She's hated the ninja world for so long, but she's also in a lot of pain. If she weren't, she wouldn't have looked at us like that. I'm gonna try to talk to her again. Don't mess up. I won't. There's no reason to destroy the ninja world. Everyone we love will be... I know you're a really nice person. You wouldn't really do something bad. A weapon does not need a kind name. Not as she will be perfect for you. Endure the pain for your clan. And quit your crying! Crying won't get you anywhere! Hey... Do you think they'll come rescue us? I don't know. If he took care of things on his end, they'll come eventually. Hmm. I see. They're increasing the strength of the rope by continuously channeling trace amounts of chakra. 
quite ingenious, Tegusei. <laughs> what a sore sight you are, Katasuke Sensei. I was a little worried when you guys were approaching the hideout, but as you can see, we captured you. However, I didn't expect the mind control I had over the entire ninja world to be broken so easily. That was your doing, wasn't it, Katasuke Sensei? How did you do it? The mind control failed? Is that true? So that means he. He did it! Hmm. Wait a second, what are you saying? So do you mean that it wasn't actually you who was behind it? All right. Then who was it? It was me! <laughs> who are you? Boruto! Hmm? Hold on, you're... The ninja who stopped the Otsutsuki invasion and the 7th Hokage's brave son. So you know about me. I wasn't expecting that. When our plan was realized, I considered eradicating all of the clans connected to the Kage. Therefore, I had looked into you as well. I apologize for investigating you without your permission. It's fine. Either way, everything you've done won't matter anymore. <laughs> Well, welcome to Zero's hideout. You're Mertz. Indeed I am. The leader of Zero, and the entity guiding this ninja world. The one who shall surpass pain and ascend to become a true god. It's almost laughable when they bluff this much. <laughs> I don't expect a child like you to understand. I guess that it would be foolish of me if I asked what you came to do. I assume that you've come to rescue the captives and to destroy our organization. Is that right? Glad we're on the same page. Makes things easier. However, there's one more thing I want to do. I'm gonna save Nanashi, who you're just using. Really? Let me talk to her! You heard him. <clears throat> Nanashi! I'm here because I want to talk to you. I have nothing to say to you. You might not, but I have a lot. You're persistent. In game and out. Just leave me alone. Just turn right around and go home. You know I can't. I mean, I finally got to meet the real you! Look, we're finally able to talk face to face. I found her! She's Nanashi Uchiha! Get her! Seal her up! <laughs> Nanashi! Just leave, or else. When I leave, you're coming too. You really are stupid. I'm not gonna fight you. You're too persistent. Honestly. Just get out of my face. <sighs> not a sheep. How long are you planning to help Zero? Until the ninja world is destroyed. Do you really want to destroy it? Will that satisfy you? Of course. My hatred will finally disappear once the ninja world is obliterated. Look, I know you had a terrible past. I've seen it. But how did you know about my past? Don't talk about things you don't know. I do know. I know about you being treated like a weapon. And how you were imprisoned. Unjustly! But doing this isn't going to save you! You don't know anything. What do you know about me? I hate the ninja world! I've had this feeling for as long as I can remember. 
And you think you know what it's like after meeting me for eight days? You can't! Oh. Out of my sight! Oh. Madras! The memories haunt me. The anger will never leave me. No father. No mother. The despair of knowing no one will save me. How could you ever understand? Let's go. Who is she? Ninja who made me suffer? See these ninja living in this ninja world without a care? It fills me with hatred! No! 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 Matarasu! My head! Fire style fight! Let's go! Let's go! To be honest, I thought that if I just talked to you, I was sure I'd be able to get you to change your mind. I guess that in the end, I was just being naive. <laughs> Thinking about it now, you're right. I've only known you a few days. It's stupid to say I understand you. Our lives are so different. In the world that I'm from, there's little hardship. But you were born during the Warring States period and used for war. What you've been carrying inside your heart? I didn't realize it's so dark and heavy. We're standing in completely different places. You finally understand. We have nothing in common. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up on you. Huh? Because if we're in different places... We just need to get close to each other. What? To fully understand what you're feeling, I need more time. All the suffering that you've endured, I haven't had a chance to understand it. But that's just for now. You don't need to do it all at once, but just... Please, tell me about yourself. Tell me what you have bottled up inside. Then we can think about what we can do. Little by little, at your own pace, let's replace those bad memories with fun ones. At the least, by playing Ninja Heroes, I got to know you some. It was a lot of fun. For me. <sighs> we aren't strangers. Not anymore, that's the truth. We're friends. Which means, it's not as if we can't. We're friends. You exist for the glory of the clan. Destroy our enemies, even if it means your death. You do not need emotions. You will spend the rest of your life as a weapon. <laughs> Are you stupid? You must be stupid! I mean... Were you even listening to what I said? I hate the ninja world! 
That's why I want to destroy the ninja world. Then my hatred will finally disappear. Replace my bad memories with fun ones? That's not what I want at all. I just want the ninja world destroyed. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm never going to change my mind. Hey, come on, don't lie. I'm not lying! Yes, you are! Stop! If you're not lying, then... Tell me this. Why are you crying? <laughs> Wait, you... You mean... Shut up! It's all your fault! Don't you get it? You're making me feel all confused about everything! Nanashi. Take care of what confuses you. Destroy Boruto. Eliminate your hesitation. Have the future you desire. A world without ninja. Just stop! Nanashi, you don't have to listen to him! You're just- I told you to shut up! Stop causing me pain! Stop! I can't... Leave me alone! Stop confusing me! You don't know anything. So stop trying to get inside my head! Yeah, that's right. I don't know anything. I just learned about your past, that's all. But I understand very well how much you have bottled up inside. I know what's causing you all that pain. What? So just tell me how much it hurts. Just shut up! Get lost. Trust them! Destroy the Senju! You have no siblings or parents. You will use your powers for the clan. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. Hey, is she the... It's better not to look at her. She's not like us. Don't worry, it's not what you think. I'm here because I want to talk to you. When I leave, you're coming too. You don't need to do it all at once, but just... Please, tell me about yourself. We aren't strangers. Not anymore, that's the truth. We're friends. your deal what huh <gasps> tell me why why are you always in my head all these horrible memories inside my head so why do I see your smiling face too why does your face show up even when I think you're a nuisance why <gasps> why are you just like I told you before. I don't know your painful memories. That's simply the truth. I hate it. But there's nothing I can do about that. But... I can slowly replace your future with something fun. Maybe we could play Ninja Heroes. Or go somewhere with everyone together. Come on, let's do all the things you couldn't do before. I can do those things for you now, too. I wish that you'd give me a chance. One last chance for you to not hate Ninja and the Ninja world anymore.
Boruto. Boruto. I... I... You disappoint me, Nanashi. Were you not going to destroy the ninja world to avenge yourself? Was that not the source of your hatred? <laughs> In the end, you were just a child. I'm taking Nanashi. I have no need for something that is no longer of use to me. Take her. It doesn't matter. No use to you? Seriously? You just see Nanashi as a tool to use. You're doing the exact same thing that her clan did in the past. I'm nearly a god at this point. Feudal lords, the five Kage, the relics of the past. Every last thing, all of it, is beneath me now. And he sees you the same way. Are you okay with that? <laughs> I don't care how anyone sees me, as long as I can make my ninja tools. He's helped me create so many. I've never been happier. You're really starting to tick me off. But I'll take your offer and take Nanashi with me. Yes, I'll allow you to take her. Although, only after I have fully used her up. What do you mean? Watch out! <laughs> what? <laughs> Nanashi! <laughs> What's going on? Young Lord! That's... <laughs> What are you doing? Did you think we broke her seal without any sort of plan? I'm extremely cautious by nature. The Forbidden Curse Tag. Have you heard of it before? First you set a curse tag on your target, and then you can use it to control them. You allow them some degree of freedom, but they will never betray the user. Additionally, you can even take full command over them, should the need arise. Don't you think that's the perfect way to control a living weapon? We've updated it to a modern version. What do you think about that hair ornament? <laughs> it's quite fashionable, don't you think? I'm the kind of man who cares about appearances. I still have a use left for her. To fulfill my wishes, I will draw forth the terrifying power of the weapon in its entirety. Now! Your shackles have been loosed! You're free to go all out, my weapon! Nanashi! Boruto, don't hesitate! <clears throat> Fight! Fight, or else you'll die! But... Don't worry. You just need to fight as you always do. If you can knock her unconscious, we'll be able to help her. I'm afraid it won't be that easy. <laughs> you are talking about an Uchiha weapon. A lowly Genin is no match for her. Boruto! You don't have time to think about it! Fight! <laughs> Nanashi, snap out of it! Can't you hear me? Out of my sight! <laughs> this is nothing. 
It's like you're not even listening. She's just a puppet now. <laughs> the freedom we so unwisely allowed her only created doubt. It appears that we will have to be in full control of her from now on. is a surprise. I didn't think you could defeat Nanashi. Hmm. Perhaps she still retains some of her autonomy. That could be allowing her to hold back some of her powers. In other words, if I strengthen my control over her so she loses all sense of self... Are you okay? Huh? Oh. I think he's dead. That's the... Leave it to your dad and his friends. Now you've really done it. You'll pay. So the sinners have arrived. Sinners? You're one to talk. You're one to talk after sending the ninja world into chaos. <laughs> you have no idea just how big a sin you've committed. What do you mean? Our group's name is Zero. Because it is our mission to take the ninja world and reduce it to zero. And for what reason do we wish to reduce it to zero? 
when the world is in the midst of peace and prosperity? It's because this current world you've created is wrong. It must be corrected. Hm. Sounds just like someone plotting a takeover. You are familiar with the underside of society. I expect you are well acquainted with the rampant spread of evil. But Zero is different. Everyone sought me out to change the world. While I may have been the one to form this organization, we are made up of people who willingly joined the cause. They volunteered to help and fully endorse my beliefs. What are you saying? I guess I should start with the end. You see, the world simply craves conflict. Living within a world of peace, a world of order, that may be satisfactory to you. However, peace eliminates conflict, and order defeats the entire purpose of Ninja. This new age you created through the Fourth Great Ninja War has created a rift of non-conflict behind the scenes. When the world doesn't seek conflict, where are the ones suffering in this rift supposed to go? They came to Zero, looking for the place they belong. Those who can only express themselves through fighting. Those who wish to test their strength. Mercenaries. Among them are some who lost their family in past conflicts and are looking for a way to release their anger. They seek conflict. They wish for a world where they can hurt, draw blood, and vent their emotions. They are seeking the reign of power Pain strived for. No way! Pain. Nagato, what he wanted was the peace that would come after. The methods you use. They're just encouraging conflict for no rhyme or reason. And what is the issue with that? History is cyclical. War ends, peace comes, and then we return to war. That is the way things are. Also, while I support Payne's beliefs, I don't wish to do everything he envisioned the same way. I am myself. I'll design my own era, one based on his ideology. In short, I'll destroy the current ninja world, and I will reinstate a time of war. Once that is accomplished, I'll become a god that surpasses pain! How foolish. Is that all you wish for? Your plan demands too much! Too many sacrifices, on your side and ours! Face it. You'll only spread misery throughout the ninja world! Great aspirations come with great sacrifices. The members of Zero are well aware of this fact. Even Nanashi. She agreed to use her abilities to support the organization in order to destroy the ninja world. Nanashi doesn't want that anymore. <laughs> yes. She lost the will to fight thanks to someone putting ideas in her head. She can't even be controlled anymore. She is nothing but a nuisance now. However, she can still be of use to me. Boruto Uzumaki, you said before that you wanted to take her with you. You can have her. I've already used her up. down. He's faster than I thought! His impressive reaction is not a toes of mine. However, you are too naive. Not too far! We can't let you get away with this! I'll end you here. 
What an honor it is to be fighting the strongest ninja of the present age. Already. Try some of this. Let's go. Let's do it! Already! Let's go! Looking at you fills me with so many emotions. What do you mean? In my younger days, I fought with pain during the hidden great civil war. That was when I damaged both of my eyes. I became a drunk. I did not despise. That was because I was drawn to Kane's ideologies. He managed to launch a revolution. However, you defeated Kane. And Hidden Rain decided to go down a path based on the bombs. I was left behind, a relic of the past, and disappeared from the main stage, along with Kane's ideologies. I wouldn't have had to create zero either. Your existence has, to my annoyance, greatly influenced my life. We'll corner him like this. I should say, I'm impressed. I can't believe you thought you'd win with skills like that. Don't underestimate us. Sasuke and I are powerful. <laughs> Victory is at hand. I was correct to lure you in here. What are you talking about? Ordinarily. I'm sure that my power would be no match for you, but in this case... Right now, unfortunately for you, you're already exhausted from all your previous fighting, so you have little energy left now. The simple fact is that you failed to best me. That's why you think you can win now? You've slipped up. You see, you can exhaust us all you want. But even so, in the end... We're the ones who are going to win this fight! <laughs> Do you know the Yachihoko ability? The ability allows one to freely control the chakra of the person who is linked and return it to the user without limit. The Uchiha clan used this ability to try to enhance every visual jutsu they could. They failed, but the emergence of Yachihoko shook the world. That's Nanashi Uchiha's ability. Yes, Nanashi's ability. A skill that only she has. One that only she can use through her Sharingan. But then, there came a day... I learned something, something very important. A newly developed artificial eye. The higher-ups didn't approve, but it would return my sight to me and grant me great power as well, so... <laughs> Wait, you gave him those artificial eyes, Tegusei? Yes, I did. I gave them to Lord Mertz. I was able to get very good data as a result. Securing a supply of the chakra was difficult, but I found a way to resolve the issue. Be careful! The artificial eye Tegusei created is able to copy visual jutsu. Copy? Wait a sec. You mean... 
Exactly! It imparts a wondrous ability to its user. It allows them to use visual jutsu that had previously been limited to clan bloodlines. You see, I have created the ultimate artificial eyes. These are without a doubt my masterpiece. The fact that he has them means... <laughs> yes. I have Yachi Hoko. Naruto! Yes. <laughs> I can tell you see how dangerous these eyes are. Although, I'm afraid you're too late. <laughs> Countless ninja are already linked together, joined by the engraved Tsukuyomi. Are you aware of what that means? I'm sure you are. Their chakras are in my hands, and I am able to freely draw forth from them as I please. The vast amount of chakra is able to fully unleash the Mangekyo Sharingan and be able to recreate that power! What is this? Come on! Of course, since it's a copy, there are some visual differences, but even so, it should be more than enough to defeat you. You are no longer the most powerful ninja. <laughs> you are ants to me. You are nothing more than that. I admit that you're tough, but still. It's over. Is that the best you can do? I'm sure your chakra reserves are empty by now. So just give it up and stop stalling already. This is the last moment of the two great ninja who made history? How pathetic. This is bad! Focus! <laughs> This is the way your era will come to an end! But my era is about to begin! Now die! Boruto! But you... You were already... Nanashi.
Just hold on. I'll put an end to this. You insolent little... Thanks, Orato. Step aside now. This battle isn't something for mere children to interfere with. You went too far. Dad and his friends had to overcome a lot to create this world for us. I can't let you mess it all up. But what I really can't forgive you for is how you just used Nanashi after everything she's been through and never once saw her as a human being. You fool. Nanashi is a weapon. What could be wrong with using a weapon? No, Nanashi is my friend! There's just no way that I could ever forgive you! For everything you've done to her! How could I be sweating? He was only given Nanashi's chakra. Fine, then. In due time, I'd plan to take care of anyone associated with the Kage. So I'll just take care of you right now! Parents can't be tapping out. Not when their kids are still up for the fight. Agreed. I can't have my students showing me up. I'm not gonna lose. This ends right here. Former heroes are nothing to me! Burying you will be the start of a new era! Sounds like he already thinks he's a god. Such an impatient god! Already. Already. Yeah, it was him. <laughs> I 
I needed to test out the artificial eyes and learn to control this power. Regrettably, I had to destroy a few forests during the testing process. Either way, in the end, the entire ninja world will be our battle. So I suppose it didn't matter. I'll crush you! Why would you try so desperately to save Nash? She's just a tool. <laughs> Boruto's a mother. You are truly disgraceful. You don't know how much she suffered. <laughs> I do know. But what of That was her face. Our destinies are decided from the beginning. She was born a weapon. And her fate is to die as a weapon. I used her as effectively as possible. What more could a weapon ever ask? You don't get to define her life! She's a human being! She's not a weapon! Very well. Let's say, hypothetically, she is human. So what? Uh, it doesn't change anything. She's a human used by humans and discarded in the air. Her fate doesn't change. How sad. You're wrong. They can be changed. I've seen plenty of people who have. One of them being paid! The one you looked up to so much! <laughs> That's why he couldn't become a god. <laughs> You're the sad one. Bound by antiquated ways of thinking. You think someone like you could become a god? Don't make me laugh. <laughs>
This cannot be. They're overpowering me. I'm the god who will create a new age. It's impossible. I won't accept it. I have nothing left to fight with. <laughs> Boruto Uzumaki. Underestimating you was my downfall. No. This era is strong. It's a whole lot stronger than you think it is. You lost to the era my dad and his friends created. It's strong, huh? Even if you believe it's true, how long will you be able to say that? I wasn't wrong, not about a single thing. There are many people in this world who wish to fight. That is the truth. Maybe so. But still, you can't treat people like objects. The methods you used, they weren't helping anyone. You're just selfish. You know, you've got some nerve, child. And you lost to that child. Yeah, of course he did. These kids are the world's new power. They've inherited all our determination. They've taken it and made it their own. They're a strong power. And one that won't break. 
Do you mean to imply that power is superior to mine? Changing the world is quite simple if you have the unbreakable will of the gods. That power is... such an annoying... such an annoying power. How's Nanashi? <clears throat> I'm fully aware. I, I know who I am. Boruto. I felt really happy. I was happy that you were my friend, Boruto. But still, it was just so painful. I couldn't forget the past. I just couldn't. I really struggled with it, but I... It's fine. I understand. Sorry. It's fine. <coughs> huh? Boruto? Where'd you...? Uh, I'm here. I'm right here by your side. This? It's ours. Both of ours. This Kiseki. It's small, but so important. Would you accept it? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, we've got to let it grow bigger. So we should hang out, right? Oh no. Why is this the end? I wanted to spend so much more time together with with you. It's just so sad. Nanashi! <laughs> well, we failed at least this time, but the next time... <clears throat> And so, Zero's revolt ended. Luckily, the five villages didn't suffer any huge losses. But a girl had to be sacrificed. Why did this happen? It started from something so small. After our investigation, over 10 ninja were arrested on suspicion of espionage and aiding Zero's revolt. We're also closing in on a financier who was funding Zero, with a formal investigation by the Hokage's chamber forthcoming. This isn't what I said I'd bring, but here. Wow, so pretty! 
Sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to get Dad's necklace. Uh, but I'm only letting you borrow it. This is just really important to me. Are you sure it's okay if it's that important to you? Yeah, it's fine. It was in the shadows for a long time. It's finally allowed to see the light. That's why I want it to be out in the sun as much as possible now. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be busy going out on all my missions. And besides, I might end up losing it. That's why I'm hoping that you'll be able to look after it for me. Mm, I don't really understand, but I just have to take good care of it, right? Yep, you got it. That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm gonna go play now. Okay. I keep wondering if things can really stay this way. I can't stop thinking about it. Was there really no way I could have saved her? If there was even a slight possibility, I... She's already suffered enough. That's why I want her on a new path, not in the shadows. The path and the sunlight. 